Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sticker Fab. I just wanted to remind everyone that on Sticker Fab and 21 Off-Road, all military, first responders, veterans, I think we have teachers, tons of stuff, nurses, doctors, you guys get 10% off. Bottom of every page in the right hand side has an ID.me link and you can get signed up for that. Today is all about the 2022 Subaru WRX. We are back at Import Image Racing. It's been a while since I've been here to film in general. Um, if you come here on the wrong day, you might get stuck unloading some containers and that's what happened Tuesday. I helped them unload a 40 foot plus 20 foot container of all noble performance parts. They finally got in their VB spoiler. Now this maintains the same upper half. It's a three piece design just like the, the VA chassis spoiler, uh, similar bases yet different. Now similar in visual design appearance, uh, all that type of jazz, what you really want. However, it is different right here. That molding is completely different so that it fits the trunk better. But I'm not here to sell you SCI spoilers. I am talking to you about installing our V1 and V2 side marker overlays. Whew, that's a lot to say in one take. A little out of breath. Um, looks like they already took them off. I had them right here installed. We had the dark smoke. I can flash up some pictures real quick. Dark smoke is probably the most popular option, then followed by a completely black overlay. Now, when I started Sickerfab, this was to give people pre-cut templates that they could install on their own. I realized that I'm not a vinyl wrap installer, never installed a full or even partial wrap on a vehicle before, and that's who my audience is. So we make these pre-cut so that you guys can install them, and if they're a little bit difficult, I will make a video about it and show you guys how to get through that install. So let's go back, let's look at our stuff. I've got a microfiber towel in my pocket. I have a felt, ooh, can I reach it? Okay, here it is, a felt, tip squeegee we do sell these on our website and it's just so that you don't scratch the vinyl if you push really hard on these they might leave a little glue residue however you can clean that right off and then i have sticker fab application fluid this kind of turns you from a zero into a hero um, i think there's a blend of alcohol in it and it dries out really well but in the beginning it makes that adhesive easy to move around so you can get the perfect alignment and then you start squeegeeing things out using a little heat and everything comes comes along and your install looks great after that i do have a portable heat gun now this portable heat gun is about as strong as a hair dryer and that's really all that you need you don't need some crazy industrial um heat gun you want to apply small amounts of heat at a time let's see it's probably about 75 degrees in here i always like to do these installs between 75 and 85 degrees um, if it's really hot where you are, don't do it in direct sunlight because the vinyl will start stretching on its own. You kind of want to control how much it stretches and get a feel for your uh, material and how it does um, stretch, uh, how it reacts to you pulling and using the squeegee, applying heat, whatnot. Um, do not install these things in the cold. The vinyl becomes brittle. It's not easy to stretch. It's not easy to get it to stick, especially if you're doing a wet application like we're doing. But let me get this whole thing set up in that front right corner of this vehicle and we'll get on with our install. All right, so I'm gonna to try to stay out of this shot as much as possible. I hope I do a good job. Um, this is the V1 overlay. It's just gonna cover this portion right here. I'll get that installed really quick in the beginning, but then you guys can fast forward a little bit if you wanna see the V2 installation, a little bit more difficult. We'll work on getting this bottom half to sit first and then we will work the top half and that's the more difficult part. But this bottom part right here in the V1, really pretty easy. Usually I would say get some glass cleaner, lens cleaner, um, whatnot to get this nice and prepped. Use that microfiber all up in there. Any place where you feel like the vinyl might touch on accident, because you don't want that adhesive to pick up dirt that's on the paint if you accidentally let it touch right there. So now we have this all cleaned up. I did use that SigFab application fluid, as you can see, and now I'm going to spray it again. Um, for these installs, if you want to unlock the hood, go ahead and do that. The V2, we will have to push it under the hood. I will pop this up in a minute. 
I do spray the application fluid on my fingers and that helps me not transfer the oils in my fingers to the back of the vinyl. What we are installing today is the black because I already have pictures of the dark smoke. I'm going to spray my other hands too. My other hand. Did I say hands? Okay. I'm going to line this up. The funny thing about these overlays is that they go in the lens, which sits off of the actual headlight. So you have to pick a design where it will cover up all that orange and all the color that you don't want, even when you start to view it at a different angle. It's easy to cover it up on the side, but when you start moving around, you will see that orange if your overlay isn't big enough. So that's why we did the design like this. If you don't have one of these, you can use a credit card, but then just wrap it up in your microfiber. So you'll still get a similar effect, but you won't damage the vinyl. So I've got the alignment, I believe where I want it, and then hold it down, get some of that Sigrafab fluid out of there. You can also use like a cup of water and a drop of dish soap. You don't need too much soap. But sick of having application fluid really makes the job a lot easier. The way this black is acting right now, I already feel that it might be an easier install than the dark smoke. Um, dark smoke we have in two materials actually. We have normal dark smoke, which is an Orocal 8300. It's a little bit cheaper. I believe it's made in Germany. But the more expensive LX, uh, the only difference is the quality of the material. It's a little bit better and a little bit easier to install. Pretty sure those are made in America and I do pay a premium for that material. But ease of installation, uh, I think it's worth it. Although the most popular color we will sell, like I said, is just normal dark smoke. So now I've got pretty much the majority of it pushed down and it's not really staying at the bottom and that was expected that's where our heat comes in so we tested out build up a little heat i test it out on my hand and i start to apply a little heat in those areas easiest way to start is just to kind of massage it with your finger Let me work on small bits at a time. I don't like just swiping my finger across because that can bunch up the vinyl. The most difficult area of this install is this back corner. You want to make sure you get the desired coverage on that lens, but also just massaging it until all that fluid starts to dry up and it starts to stick to the lens. I got close to the end and I started swiping it because like, I know I can stretch this over the front of the lens. So now that this is drying out just a little bit, I'm going to go back with the squeegee and I'm going to push the bottom part. Try not to get my squeegee completely stuck in there. But I do want the vinyl to kind of wrap around the bottom edge of the lens. When you get it to do that, there's less chance that it'll grab during a car wash or when you're using some sort of high pressure wash in this area. Now this install is pretty much done. We are in a warm environment, so this is 
the perfect environment to get this install done. You can tell when people are installing it in the cold. Even if you're trying to install it in a heated garage, there's no way you're going to get this kind of all throughout uh, 75 to 85 degrees unless you're in that kind of environment. Um, I know people that own mansions in cold places and they keep their house at 78 or uh, 68 degrees. And people try to tell me that they heat their garage to 78 and keep it that way. 75, 78, I'm like, that's ridiculous. That takes a lot of money. But a good thing to do also is, you know, your next few trips, kind of check this out. See uh, if anything's coming up while everything's still really clean. And if it is coming up, just go ahead and push it down. All right, now let me uh, take a couple quick photos of that. I'll take it back off and we'll get that V2 installed. Let me show you real quick. Even when the side markers are on, you can still see that light coming through just a little bit on these, even though this is completely black. All right, for the V2, let's pop that hood all the way. Ooh, check out that intercooler grill guard. Looking good. I'll set the camera back up. Let's get that V2 knocked out. All right, so the V1 works really well with this lens design because it's already black up here. I know on the VH chassis, it was more silver on the uh, lower end uh, models, the, the base and the premium, I think. Uh, but the STI and the, the WRX Limited had this like really black uh, housing. Um, but looks like even on this premium, it's black up here. However, some people just want a dark look kind of everywhere. And the way you achieve that is with the V2 an even darker look. All right, so I've cleaned that off again. Probably didn't have to, it's probably still clean. Um, now, I'm gonna spray this entire area down because it even goes up into here. It does roll back a little because that hood uh, doesn't quite come to this line. Respray my fingers. It's right there. Grab this bigger overlay, especially if you were doing this outside and it's a little bit windy, just peel that overlay back a little bit. And go ahead and spray it. Well, let's see how it rolled back on itself. If you spray it as you peel it off, it's really easy to get this back up. See, see that? Okay, now we're in the lens. Uh, there we go. And when all this dries up, it's gonna be really sticky again. So we kind of don't care where this part goes right now on this end. We just want it to go somewhere. Clean that entire area off. It might go crazy. You don't know where it's gonna end up. But let's kind of focus back on the same area that we were focusing on with the V1. Let's just get this area down. Pull this out a little bit. Maybe clean the paint up right in there in that lens. Like I said, don't know where this thing's gonna go. Let's clean that out. We'll be moving things around. So lined up where I want it. Push some of that Application fluid up, push some down. Try to hold this in place so it doesn't move. Push some to the front. And then we'll use the heat mainly on the bottom.
a little bit more heat because I can tell there's a lot of fluid back there. All you gotta do is be patient with these installs. Realize that fluid is drying up, and that everything will work out a lot better once it does. You have to be really careful when you're kind of pushing it to the side. Make sure it doesn't crease up. So I try to refrain from doing that. If I can tell there's a lot of fluid and I think I can get it out, I will. So back and forth between using my finger and using the squeegee. Try to make sure none of that liquid seeps back down in the part that I've already done. So pretty happy with the bottom part. Now I'm going to work on this part and then I'll finish up on this back edge because there's a lot of contour in this lens that makes up the, the area of focus. Now you're trying to bend over this crease right here. And that's the only tricky part of that. I'm going to make sure this goes under the bumper. So now I'm going to work on this area. That just involves getting all that liquid out. I'm going to push this out and see where it naturally wants to go. But you can guide it a little bit. Encourage it to go where you want it to go. Depending on how you installed this area will determine where this winds up going. Soak up some of that water. Uh, 
Now we're getting towards the back part. First let's see if there's any water back there. Now you can see these little areas, the vinyl just needs a place to go. That's why I just massage it, stretch it over the back of the lens, give it a place to go. I can feel it with my fingers. I can tell when it's going to crease up. So as soon as I feel it creasing up, I just apply a little less pressure. I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but it kind of feels like magic. When it all comes together, all the vinyl finds a place to go. And then we work on the back part, which requires a little bit more massaging. You can see how I have this pointed at my hand and it's not burning my fingers. That's kind of my gauge on how much uh, heat that the vinyl can take without getting damaged. If it doesn't burn me, I don't think it'll burn the vinyl. So we want to push back to the side everywhere we can get this vinyl a home to sit down in. Get a little bit more heat in there. Push and hold. Adhesive. This is the first time that I've installed this material on this vehicle. Yesterday, like I said, I was working with the dark smoke. Actually, I haven't played with this material in a while. I'm pushing it like that. I'm trying to push all of the vinyl at once. Cause there's this weird contour up here, there's this ridge right here, and then there's the vinyl coming up around this lens on the back side, which is kind of rounded over here. So this technique looks like the best. I have both thumbs in the microfiber, pushing it towards the back, so it can't bunch up at any place as I push. 
and kind of wrapping the excess around the back side. And just like with the V1s, I do encourage you to check this out when you come back to your car before your next trip, after your next trip, and just check out how the vinyl is doing. You know the places that gave you the most it, uh, problems. So check those areas out. Push them back down if needed. But over time, as it bakes, especially in the sun, the bonds become a lot stronger. That's why I really don't encourage you guys to install vinyl in really cold weather. You'll never get that desired temperature. All right all down in that corner. Go ahead and clean this lens up a little bit. Because I'm going to go right into taking some photos of this. All right, thanks everyone for letting me go through this install with you guys. If you have any questions, just contact our customer service. You guys can find this on our website. I will go ahead and put links to the product in the description below. And some of the parts that I've seen on this vehicle, if they're shown in the video, I'll go ahead and put links down below to those as well. Last thing, let's go ahead and turn on the lights. There's this side. And then, there's this side. Like I said, you can still see that orange underneath there when the lights come on, but overall you have just kind of a stealthier look to your 2022 Plus WRX VB chassis. Please like this video, you guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already, and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things. Secret Fab is coming out with for the 2022 Subaru WRX.